Hello, hopefully I'm live. Just uh, pop my ears in. Sorry, I was trying to read through the live chat to catch up um, to see what you were saying. I'd like to see how far Daniel's got with his uh, his playing. Let me turn the TV volume right down. Floating, hope not. Hopefully I'm not floating. Let me just have a look. Do I need to lower it down a touch? Doesn't look like I need to lower me down anymore. Yeah, sleep story to the boat. On OBS, it looks like I'm attached to the ground, like to the bottom of the screen. Oh, you don't see the flat. You're confusing me. I've got um, a very, very, very large green screen behind me. That's a, you know the pop-out tents? It's like a pop-out tent, except it's a green screen. So um, the big question will be how easily I will be able to get it put up and down. It wasn't too expensive, but... Um, yeah, so, but I, I thought I'd pick it up and it's one that pops out, so it's got a frame attached to it. So I've got green screens that I've used before, but they're always ones I have to put a frame up and then I have to attach the green screen to a frame and all that stuff. Um, yeah, then you just see my head floating and then I'll just sort of do that and make it look like I'm carrying my head the whole time. So, yeah, it's... Um, Hopefully you'll be able to hear the music and what have you as well as me. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd get a green screen. The green screen is actually very large, but even though it's very large, it's still very difficult to fill the sort of the tiny box um, around me so that you can't see any of the flat wall. So you can notice a slight little nick in the side of the screen where the flat's creeping through, but hopefully that won't be too distracting. <laughs> Even better, I will just wear something with a big green circle on the front so it looks like I've got, um, and I'll put a picture behind me of like some guts or something so it looks like I've got a hole through my stomach. That'd be apt for this game. Apparently we're in hostile territory. Yeah, I should start swimming. Oh, that's going to annoy me. I can see a little bit there. No. That'll do for now. I'm trying to move it around to get it... Um... Okay, just... Follow the sunset. If I just move myself over a bit. So, hopefully... Uh, Da, 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 da. Playing through the first Abbey bit to catch up. Cool. Yeah, obviously the first big kind of spoilery bit is ending up as Abbey. Well, not the first big spoiler, obviously that's Joel dying at the beginning. Um, right. Remember the controls. Stand. Come on. What's the stand button? <laughs> nope, that's the whack button. But it made me stand. Uh, 
Uh, she currently doesn't have a bow and arrow. Essentially, you play through as Abby, very similar to how you played through as Ellie, where you have to go get all these things. I can't remember what you get though. Oh, shooting. Great. Obviously, I have to avoid my own people because they're. Um, what is that smell? Technically, something stinks around here. They're technically good guys, obviously, as far as Abby's concerned. So I have to avoid my own people without killing them. Um, obviously, I don't know that Ellie's around at the moment. Just a clothing shop. myself up as well. Oh yes, I don't have uh, a knife like Ellie has either. I don't think we can get through here. No. Doesn't look like Here's, it. I guess I'm going over that wall. Up there. Looks promising. Uh, what button squeeze? That one squeeze. The actress for this got some recent bafta -y thing or something, or at least nominated for her performance. Something like that. Don't really pay attention to BAFTA and things. Already jumping. I was busy reading the comments at the time, so... If it wasn't for the fact that the game automatically has you backing out into the room, I probably would have died. I assume I'll be jumping that way. Don't need the torch on just yet. Books to read. Now, what button was run? Nope, that's not. <laughs> that one. Bound to be something to collect down here. No room though. Make it before sunset. I better make it before sunset. It's not like anything's likely to happen to us. <laughs> that guide you right off a cliff. These freaks are in our backyard. Ha <laughs> 
Best look to the side if there's a doorway. Oh, and yeah, there's someone. I think with Abby is there's no grab and stab. Can't craft anything yet. I can improve my listening though. Right, no sneaking up behind me while I've got my back to you. She does just squeeze their necks and pop their heads off. She kind of grab and pops. That looks like a clicker and an annoying one that can see me. No. Hide behind the sofa. Well, I can't stab it in the neck. And one bullet doesn't take its head off. So? Yeah, that's it. I do think that Abby and Ellie probably would be friends if uh, they were in a different time under these circumstances. enough for now. Lots of little bits and pieces to pick up. Way back much earlier in the game, um, I think I forgot to pick something up, an Easter egg up, in the bank where the bank robber um, was obviously dead on the floor with his shotgun and Ellie picks up the shotgun. Um, there is 
you can pick uh you can open one of the um locked drawer things and inside the drawer is a um a ring and the ring is Nathan Drake's ring from Uncharted. God damn it. Just stay out of my way. Yeah, what are the chances of them staying out of the way? We could always stay out their way. Mm. I can craft a pipe bomb. Let's try one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what I might have to do in the future let me just um, sore arms from swinging the golf club still all these months later let me just see if I can go here do -ba do -ba do Burp. Burp. not great but it might help um, ordinarily uh, it would be handy I was trying to be lazy. It would probably be handy to bring my uh, some lights into the front room. And that would even out the green screen. Jumping across then. Run, jump. <laughs> Only very slightly, hope well, slightly more than slightly. Um, but I had to even out the green screen at the top. I'm sure that was even more annoying. Bo, not Boo. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't here when you got back. The place must look like a bomb went off. Well, I think some bombs have done. Someone must have tipped Fedorov to our little ration operation. Bet it was whoever, the snake. I managed to hide some of our stuff, but I worried. I worry our business partners aren't going to be happy with their shipment gone. I put some of the supplies in a safe, obviously, of course you did. Uh, 68, 96, 89. 68, 96, 89. Uh, not going to go down there just yet, see if there's anything else up here. My prophet, forgive my indulgence, but my time is short. What if your time is that short? Don't write forgive my indulgence. Get to the point. Um, I pray I can make it to Martyr's Gate to deliver this to you. May you keep watch over my child. Keep him happy. Keep him safe. So many have died since the wolves broke the truce. I pray my family lives to see the rewards of our sacrifice. The world is not in balance, but I have done my part to right it. You've led me through the storm. Now I must rest. May the current be calm. May you guide me home. If you 
you want your family safe, maybe don't join a death cult. Right. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to jump off there. Down it is then. Sixty-eight, ninety-six, eighty-nine. Sounds like someone's phone number. Course. Damaging the artifact. Yes. Yeah. A bit like Jackie Chan in Russia. Although this stuff does seem to be very exceptionally breakable. Ah. Yeah. This will help. Love the way that characters in this game literally can just walk past and manage to spread their arms out and pick everything up. No safe yet. I see you up there. Cleared everything out. Let's try next door quickly, in case up the stairs is where I have to go. Still not seen the safe. Not that it matters too much. Okay, you want me to break in here. Having a carefully placed brick right there, there's the safe. There's no cakes left in the fridge. I don't think there's any coffee left either. No, that's much harder to remember. for my brain. Some new close quarters bits. The wedding capes are surviving. Uh, just about to smash another window just to get out, that's a bit destructive for no reason. I 
な。えー、This looks like where I've already been. Looks like I've just, yeah, I've just literally walked around the circle. Oh. Right, jump down. Sound of zombie. I do keep hearing the sound like there's a zombie around here somewhere. I'm trying to find out where to go now. My prophet, perhaps what I ask is impossible, but I must ask, must ask, bless the wolves with your insight, with your wisdom, with your love, that they may renounce their selfish ways and lay down their arms. May you bring peace to this world. You want peace? Easy. Stay on your island. Yep, yeah, because that kind of sentence doesn't sound remotely uh, racist and divisive. My prophet, I wish to rejoin the hunts. May you grant my wish for a new steed, swift and strong, a new saddle, and a new bridle. She's not a genie, dude. I was about to say the same kind of thing. My prophet, my wants are few, my needs are simple, but my hands are clumsy, and I'm unable to contribute to the efforts of our village. Mending, foraging, building. I ask you grant me these abilities that I might be productive and respected. Okay, at least that one's a practical request. Pick the one up. Oh, have you? I'm a good soldier. I've already freed two wolves in your name. I'll send you many more. Please honour me by letting me live long enough to see your salvation spread across the island. Uh, there were some bits that, uh, so I watched, there's a YouTuber who I quite like watching. Um, he does gaming and stuff called Bamalan. He's a uh, YouTuber based in London. Um, and I watched him play through this, but what I did was obviously played through the whole game, rushed through the whole game as quick as I could to get through it so that I wouldn't end up kind of ruining any of it while watching his playthrough. But then watching his playthrough, I saw bits that I thought, oh, if I'd watched this first, I would have done that. And I saw bits that I would have done and places I would have gone. Um, am I dropping down there? And areas that I would spend ages trying to, uh, I bet that I have to cross somewhere else. Um, areas that I spent ages trying to get past. Um, just watching someone else do it really would have helped. May you bring your children prosperity and strength that we might cleanse this world of its sickness and start anew. 
That's a big ask, dude. Right, I think I'm correct in going up there. I've just got to figure out where to go after that to get to the other side. Maybe I need to head this way instead of that way. That makes more sense. Nope. Yep, yeah, nope, yep. Yeah. Can't go up there. Ah. Can I get over there? There's something flashing over there, so I obviously can. I'm not there. Yeah, that kind of obviously proves how similar Abby and um, Ellie are. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, or I could use a ladder. Rather than trying to jump impossible gaps. Um, you know, they both essentially had their dads killed and wanted to get revenge on the person who killed their dad. Right. Now I'm quite happy with my axe at the moment. I'm not going to be able to jump that now, am I? No. Not that it matters. Like that little detail there. Do I literally just drop down here? That is the other side of the wall. I'm glad I've stayed um, hidden. Stay low. something I can do that can deal with them. Not subtle. That's the only problem. Where's the second one? No. Okay. Oh well, let's just... Uh... There's a wolf here too! instead. Right, they can currently go all around me. So, let's see where they're going to come from over there. going to do was kind of that. Except that didn't work. Spread out. Hoping that they'll both be in a similar position. Oh, I've got a silencer. I don't have a silencer now. But I do have two less people to worry about. Well, 
well, I think the other one is, what would Abby have been like if Abby didn't have all those years in between? Would she have dealt with it more just very targeted? And likewise, I think Abby's view was largely, you know, if we have to go through people and make people talk to get uh, to Joel, then we will. It just happens that she got lucky. And that Joel was just right there. No, no I quite like my hammer for now. Get some practice in. There's apparently a snipery person somewhere. Is that the person? This would be noisy, but that's noisy as well. But I got a lucky shot. safe to walk. Although technically money and everything means absolutely nothing in oh, this world. Please tell me um, you didn't run into these guys. I do wonder whether there would be any kind of semi savvy people who think, well let's uh, at least store some stuff, not money, but like maybe gold and things like that, for um, after all this is over and done with. And the world starts going back to normal, even if it's in generations' time. Where they're savvy enough to think, well, let's leave something to a future generation. So that when people start getting over this, having a vaccine, whatever, communities start springing up, trade starts happening um, more consistently. And people start valuing... Because I bet it would happen, obviously. People would start valuing gold and stuff, at least. Probably not random paper money, but... Um... Yeah, it seems that... Or else they could end up being a bit of a free-for-all once the world starts going back to normal, with people trying to plunder everything. Now, is that door shut? Open the door. No, I'm not going to use the hint right now. I can see that... I'll be able to get out there. Up here. I think I can get in through there. Yep. Hmm. 
very sunny and very hard to see uh, what's around. Very good at their artwork. Crazy bitch. Do you even know what you were starting? What's all this? Of course I walked right into a scar camp. Well, as long as there's no uh, other people here, it's fine. Normally when I need a gun, it's, uh, I need it right now. Whack. journey on. Don't need that out right now. Do with crafting a silencer though. Might only give one or two shots before uh, it breaks, but at least that's a couple of shots without getting noticed. <laughs> Keepers. It looks like a long drop. I'm sure it's safe. taking the group into the woods at sundown. She'll find them. Good. May our prophet grant justice to those apostates. Uh. May they serve as an example to others. I wasn't actually in here at the time that you missed me. Oh, that didn't go well. Uh, yep, yeah, that was better than mine. Who saw me? Can I get them? Oh, I can. No, I didn't think I'd be 
Yeah, pull that off. Oops, I took part of their body with me. Good job whatever fire thing someone threw missed me. Okay, there's a lot more of them around than I thought. to this one. Right, you're down there. You're down there. How did you survive that? <laughs> this building's all lopsided. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I know you're just around that corner. Come on, round here. No? I'll come to you then. <coughs> Two of you. Okay, let's um, share that with you. Oh, maybe you can't come back there. Damn it. Down. Only when we can we find our true strength. those bits up. Right, carrying on down. Not that way down. That's a bit too far down. <laughs> Yeah, I think the whistling communication thing's good. And obviously if they don't know, yeah, if 
the others, the other sort of side people, don't know what it is, they obviously don't understand the whistles, then um, that makes it quite a good way of communicating. Craft one of them. Okay, there's quite a lot of them. Try not to accidentally go over the edge and end up sliding all the way down into it. At least not yet. But it's also not quite so easy with all the sun's rays. Oh, there you go. I've killed you. Right, okay, let's slide down. Should have been expecting that. Four months earlier. Owen. <laughs> Owen. Yeah, I think it's a good game, personally. Hey. Hey. Yes. How dare these You're women right? actually yeah. become muscular and put effort into doing their bodies up for combat? No. Or doing it because they just want to. Although in this in this kind of world, I imagine a lot of it is survival. Cool. What's up? We got orders. Snow and whales. It's sort of. We've got some sort of. back whales here. You know what? Just how about we hold off on the Isaac talk? For just a minute. Oh, and when's the last time you were here? Look around. Take it all in. I am. I'm looking at the humpback whales. What did you do? I don't know. Just rip out some vines, paint some walls. Hold, hold on. Is Alice out here? She's out with Mel. Tee hee. You guys doing okay? Dating Sorry, nice. too busy playing with the toy. Good. Uh. <laughs> For the most part, yeah, I mean, she can be really sweet. Must feel nice after me. Well, under that badass exterior, you can be pretty sweet too. You have a bad memory. Selective memory. Wait, you're not painting over Max's mural. Embellishing it. Mm. Yeah, you've really moved up from graffiti and firefly tags. Oh, did you hear another firefly joined last night? Ex-firefly. Well, she'd also heard about a regroup in Santa Barbara. Was there any proof to go along with that rumor? No. How about that? Yeah. 
This feels nice. Why is this music not on? You should have your music on. Well, I can hear the music, but I'm sure it's normally louder. Well, this looks complicated. Hmm. Are you doing a science experiment? Lucky me. Freckles. Mm. Did you take up archery or something? <laughs> or something. That explains the target. Oh, yeah. Mel and I have this competition thing going. Well, I, I don't think you would enjoy it. It's <laughs> pretty complicated. I see what you're doing, and it's working. What do I do? Okay. See those targets? Yeah. So yeah, we've got, got some bits like that up. here as well. I win. Got a few Easter eggs. You better write my name up there. Over here. You got it. Go on then, start counting down. Oh, well, that Take was a bad off. shot. That's one. Yeah, proud of you. Two down. And more to go. Halfway there. to beat me. No pressure. 30 seconds. I'm <laughs> like actually very proud right now. You only need one more. Holy shit. You did it. You got the ice. I've still oh, got time I? left, right? Just Is that all of them? Left. Oh, there is some. Right, how many is that? <laughs> First try. How do you like me now? Yeah, it's great. I'm good at everything. Shut up. I've got some uh, Cadbury's Cream Egg Easter oh. eggs and yeah. Kit Kat Easter eggs and Galaxy Easter eggs. Are you scared of Mel finding out I was here? No. She doesn't care. So put me up on the board, Owen. All right. Calm down. What did I get? 13. That's not too bad. Okay, there's one last thing I want you to see. Come upstairs. Is it that boat captain's body? Mm. Because I saw it last time. You didn't put a Santa hat on it, did you? What? No. That would actually be kind of cool. <laughs> After you. What is all this? Cool. Festive. You gotta get the full effect. Have a seat. Take in that view. Try that. Well, 
The view is nice. Oh, mm. whatever. Philistine. You want me to lie? Yes, obviously. She's into this Christmas thing, and uh, it's our one year, so. I think it's adorable. I think you can go fuck yourself. No, I wish someone loved me enough to make me a stocking. You don't deserve one. What, a stocking or someone who loves me? Why are you in such a good mood? Am I? You should blow off training tonight. Abby, when the moon comes I out. found Joel's brother. He's at a settlement out in Wyoming. How do you know that? Some fireflies who served with him got picked up at the wall. I thought he quit like a decade ago. Yeah. So, have these guys heard from him since? It's a lead. I gotta see it through. But you know that even if he is there, and you do find him, he might not know where Joel is, right? Did you tell the others? Everyone's on board. Mel included. We can leave next week. Isaac's never gonna let that many people go off base. He already did. Bullshit. Who's more about justice than Isaac? He knows what Joel's done. Hey. We're doing this together, right? person who whacked us over the head. This is obviously an inconvenient delay in our trip to get to uh, the aquarium before it turns dark. nested with sin. Free them that they may know my I like the one tiny little grizzle of blood there. the other apostate. 
Clip her wings. are coming. Cut her down. She's one of them. Lev. None of them have been particularly friendly to each other, these people. Watch your backs. Direction looks the same. You sure you know where you're going? It has to be this way. Way. Oh yeah, I've got no torch or anything. Come on, Lev. Get it open. Move. Yeah, I'm the one with the muscles. Oh, 
Oh, it's her again. You're at the hanging part. You guys all right? Yes. I've got my backpack back. I thought I said snog and repair. Go on. She is, although um, the arm. I have it under control. She's not doing too well at the moment. Grab any supplies you find. Are you? Oh, you need supplies. We're not out of the woods yet. Pun fucking intended. Mm. It's a pun. <laughs> Never seen scars going after scars before. What the hell did you do? I shaved my head. Fine, don't tell me. I really don't care. Anything else? Health. Yeah. Eddie, I hope to God you're okay. The latest truce has fallen apart and we've been ordered back home for reassignments. I've sent two search parties to look for you to no avail. Please find this note okay and come find us. Fuck these scars, Matt. She, in theory, probably knows who that is. I know. Come on, grab it. There's a lot of shop to explore here. All these shelves. I think there's some setting you can do um, where you can make it so that everything that you can collect stands out. <laughs> to help people who want to just collect everything. I'm not so worried about collecting literally everything or trying to get every um, you know, sort of Easter egg or whatever, um, but I do want to get enough to survive. stuff in the bathroom. Now where's the way out? She's standing around, so it must be through here. And can I make anything? I can make a silencer. That's better than nothing. Not much use right now. I'm following you. We're almost to the coast. Very good. Just a little farther. Demons, 
Yeah, I swung it at the person in front. Uh, right, I'm running out of this weapon. I mean, it's not going to be safe. Yep. What I want to know is, are there any hidden that if I jump down, they're going to get me? Maybe I'll use... Silencer. Game a minimalist. Watch out! Well, the advantage. Oh, it's going to be a Oh, well. I was trying to do this quietly. The advantage of being up here is they couldn't get up here to get me. this way. Mm. Quite confident. You don't have to follow us. You want me to leave you two on here alone? Let's just get out of here. Come on, I've got everything. Um, but not enough to make anything. around. Woohoo! Right, what can I do? Hold breath. Craft shifts, that will definitely be one I'm going to do. Momentum. Craft incendiary shells. Shivs, definitely. Uh, listen mode, movement, speed. Uh, momentum. For a short time, your next melee attack would also be a strike. Maybe that. Maybe that. Lighting enemies on fire. That sounds good. Momentum. Hold breath to steady your aim. Maybe. Maybe I'll save that one. Bit of momentum. Shivs. Let me make a shiv. I just have this random feeling I need some.
Okay, which way? Sorry, shining the light in your face. Does anyone know which way? Oh, pick that up. I can pick things up now. Through there. Nope, can't jump up there. Ah, here. Yeah. Up and over. I get you through, you open that gate, right? We'll open it. Come on. Yeah, if it's a game collecting yeah. books, then obviously. Your turn. Watch that arm. Um, I wouldn't be any good. I wouldn't be able to run because I'd have all these books in my back. Great. Mickey, Doc, fuck! Hurry up! Okay, I waste a lot of time trying to actually. <laughs> Come on. This is my plan. Come on, run. I'd equip a health kit if I had enough time. Come on, very quickly do your little health. Right. That's better. I can't believe I trusted scarves. someone. And there. Very quickly. Quickly. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting them to. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, that, that. Oh, don't run. Some health now. Yeah, fortunately, didn't have to deal with that other one. More of them. Just. I can hear that. Just give me a minute. You're gonna hold on tight. Just not with that hand. Okay. Come on, I can't do my own health if I'm carrying Yara. Uh, my arm. I know. Focus on your breathing. In and out. Nice and steady. In and out. Try the doors. Make sure there are no infected. One would open. Try the other ones. Come on, run again. You're strong. Any luck? I'm sure her arm's fine. It just needs to be. It's but a little graze. You know how to do that? Cut that in the strips. Lean back. Okay. I'm gonna move it, okay? You ready? What's your name? Abby. Thanks for cutting me down. Sarah gets a lot of traffic. Whatever shape she's in, we need to get out of here by tomorrow. We'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, first things first. Let's get a bit of help. Trust myself. And craft a health kit. Uh, 
Actually, for now. Um, Aquarium's right there. Let's do it. Should be straightforward. Reload speed, that's something I always need. Number of times I get a gun out because I desperately need to take a shot right there and then and then die before I've managed to reload the gun. I bet that's all I can do. And over, maybe. <laughs> yeah, of course. Damn it. Someone there. Someone there. Let's go for this one first. Oh, okay, that was a bit um, close. Yeah, I'm not wasting a shiv on them. somewhere over there hmm I feel exposed get noticed by anyone else. Well, the thing is, they've historically all been very, you know, none of them like each other. They all believe each other's the enemy. Now, this is noisy, that's the risk here. Yeah. 
doesn't reach far enough. Yeah, didn't want to have to do that, but... Oops, I too much there. To be quiet. To At least there's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> right, is it up here? Seems like the right kind of place to go. There's the Ferris wheel. Okay, should be a straight shot from here. We can swim. Can we jump in and swim? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> what are we doing now? Bubbly water. <laughs> you're watching it at double speed. Will, I'm going to crash. Despite the adrenaline of this whole shit storm, this flu thing is kicking my ass. Please let me catch a few hours of sleep so I can fight this thing. I cradled our little bee and put her to sleep. I think she's pretty shaken up by the violence of it all. She asked Mummy, why did you and Daddy push all those people? I told her that it was on the only way for us to get on board. She nodded, but I don't think she fully comprehends. Maybe I should have said something different, I don't know. Anyways, if she wakes up before me, read some of her books with her. That seems to calm her down. Hopefully, you're able to get the ration situation sorted out. Love you, Quinn. Oh, and there's sleep. Fuck. It's probably for the best.
For who? Okay. Can fire arrows. <sighs> So far, so good. Stairs. Mm -mm. Oh, come on, turn your head to me. Come on. Right, who else is around? <laughs> Should have uh, just shot the person instead of attempting to go quiet. You say nice, but it was a little close. Right, listen. health. That'll do for now. Oh, I can do something else. Improved stability. Definitely a good one. Oh, okay. 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 O
Off me. No, I was trying to go to that one. By default, it goes to the first gun, which was the arrow. to pull out this one. Where am I going now? I can't go that way. Am I going out there? Looks like it. the possibly too noisy way. because uh, my ammo situation is not ideal. So if it's not it, um, I'd be struggling. Oh, well, there's a safe. I don't know the combination at the moment. Let's hope I'm not going to encounter anything else. Um, I assume Abby has an Oh, I can't go back now for the safe. I assume she's probably worse affected uh, when they do their kind of the blotary, do the explosion, exploding stuff thing. <laughs> Read. Left San Diego, course set for Vancouver, crowds trying to get onto the boat while we loaded, grew violent but evac successful, 35 souls aboard. Two passengers complained of seasickness, bet it wasn't seasickness, set up a makeshift infirmary on the lowest decks for them to rest, radio checking the Vancouver port. Good news so far, no signs of infection among their population. Passenger Barnes disappeared from the infirmary. Crew dispersed to search for him. Passenger Barnes found. Discovered to not be seasickness, but infected. Passenger Josephine Roberts intervened. Wrestled him. It. Overboard. Miss Roberts, 
request to have everyone re-examined by ship's medic denied. We don't have the appropriate scanners anyways. I'm sure you'd find out fairly quickly. Her subsequent request to hand the weapons also denied. I'm not going to let paranoia lead to disaster. Despite protests, additional passengers claiming of various ailments, headaches, indigestion, dizziness, all temporarily quarantined in the infirmary below decks. Visual landfall of Seattle. Tried radio channels to inquire about refuelling, but no answer. We'll press forward. Everyone in the infirmary has been executed. Those people were not infected. This is cold-blooded murder. No one is going to disembark until we find the responsible party. As suspected, it was Roberts. We shot each other. I can't imagine she'll survive. If I put this thing out, I'll probably bleed out in minutes. Going to steer towards the shore so everybody aboard can get to land. Despite protests, additional passengers claiming of various ailments, headaches, indigestion, dizziness, all temporarily quarantined in the infirmary below decks. Uh, visual landfall of Seattle, tried radio channels, inquire about refueling, but no answer, or press forward. Uh, oh, I've already read that bit. Everyone da, 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 da. read that bit. Oh, so it's in his bottom bit. Port is close. Need to stay. I hear her infected outside my door. Was she right? What a mess. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Down here we go then. Let's try this again. Yep, yeah, just punches through the glass. I'm sure if you're swift, you're going to be fine. How close to the aquarium am I? Where is it? Shivs. Right, I'm still a little low on ammo. So I'm trying to keep an eye out, see if there is any. Yeah, you just keep everyone out on the sea, like a year on end. Is this the way? Abby's probably not old enough to, well, she wouldn't be old enough to remember when you would just get a bus to the aquarium rather than all this hassle trying to get there. I assume I'm going down. Yep. Yeah. Woohoo, there it is. Anything in the fountain? Anyone throw coins or anything in here? It's going to be locked. Owen? Yeah. Come on! 
on. He's gotta be in the back somewhere. Maybe? Hmm. Put that down a minute. <laughs> Bit of glass in our face. I was reading what you wrote and just walked literally straight over the roof and back into the building. Um, is it me you're looking for? That's the line I sung from... I'm trying to think of the song. I can't think of the song. But the line I sung was, is it me you're looking for? Earlier on... I sung This is the Way to Amarillo. Are we going down here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mind that big sharp bit of glass. Me shit about this glass. Fresh carrots, fresh bread. Okay, okay, your pack's here. Is that blood? Hey, Owen. the shark. There's a lot of uh, rain water getting through here. This is going to be shut, isn't it? No? Oh. Of course. The boat. Yeah, that was the uh, the other song I was singing or whistling. Is it fucking cruel? I can't remember the guy's <laughs> name. Who sings Isaac it? Isaac sends you after me. He didn't. Hmm. 
What is all this? And take her apart. That's the one. Back up. I see. Want some? Yes. Suit yourself. Danny's dead. Figured. You want to tell me what happened? We were cleaning out a small camp. It's just a couple scars and hit this one on the head hard. And he goes down and his weapon's right there. And he doesn't go for it. Instead, he turns to me. And he's old and tired. He was just ready. Kill a lot of scars. And, uh, I couldn't do it. Of course, Danny gets in my fucking face about it. I told him I'm done. He can do it himself if he wants. He points his fucking gun at me. So I grab it, and then... First, I didn't even know which one of us was shot. You defended yourself. Stop. I can fix this. I'll talk to Isaac. I am tired, Abby. I don't want to fight over land that I don't give a fuck about anymore. I'm going to Santa Barbara. The chaser rumor? I've heard it more than once. The fireflies aren't regrouping. They're gone. It's a lead. Mm -hmm. I gotta see it through. <sighs> what about Mel? She'll be safe here. Okay. We'll talk in the morning when you're sober. Don't do that. Do what? Treat me like I'm fucking insane. You feel the same way. If the fireflies are in Santa Barbara, I go the opposite fucking direction. Sorry I grew up. You should try it. Well, yeah, how do I do that? Should I go find the people that killed my family? Cut into them? I could torture them until they're crying now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it just confuses me how someone can go from fighting to suddenly not. Mm -hmm. 
and obviously no questions about the scar, the um, the neck and the wrist marks. If someone who was a friend of mine or more turned up and had neck or wrist marks looking like they'd been hung or something, I'd be thinking, oh my god, what happened to you? Tell me. Something I'd quite like to know is Owen's backstory in relation to all those scars on his back. Because obviously it's never touched on, it's never mentioned um, where he got all the scars, but they look kind of like maybe a burn or something. Those fucking kids. Seattle Day 2. Because it, it kind of shows that there's a whole story Shit. of stuff that's gone on that obviously has nothing to do with this specific story, so it never gets mentioned. Um, but it kind of... It's unnecessary. Yeah, there's no, There was no... They're fucking scars. You can see the words now, that's good. Um, yeah, they didn't have to have him scarred like that. They could have had him just, like, you know, no injuries at all. And yet they've got these quite serious looking injuries on his back that never ever in the game get a mention. But do show that he's had some kind of experience in falling. his life. Okay. Did that, but I want to check up here just in case there was anything to pick up. Nope. Just a dead person. Close to the aquarium. Are you sure you saw them? Fuck. It was the apostate. At least I know he's alive. And I'm not much better off. You're a big person. Oh. Missed. What a waste of a shot. There's not a word, but there's not really an incentive.
right, who's going to come from where? They're there. They're going to come from there. Come on. Yep. You do realise you've got a, um, an injury to your nose. See if we do a bit better. Oh yeah, there shouldn't be anything in here, should there? Because, uh, in reality, I literally just scoured this place last time I was here, didn't I? I'm sure I took everything last time I was here. Nope, nope, yep, yep. Get those kids. I hope they're still there. Way is it? Right, it came through there. Can't jump up there. Can't get up there. Couldn't get up there. Right. 
Why can't I find where to go? Sorry. Yeah, being someone who's very comfortable you being do? on your own and very comfortable just taking lives but not getting emotionally distressed at it and not ending up, you know, developing PTSD or anything would definitely help you survive. But then you'd kind of wonder if you met somebody who was old or much older, <laughs> you'd even if they seem charming and friendly, you'd probably oh wonder how they've survived that long. Lean into me. And whether they're really the sort of person you want to be around. Are you taking her? Come on. What are you doing? I'm giving her a chance. Because for them to have survived that long, the chances are um, they probably had Owen. to be able to live with themselves not doing good things. Owen! then it's probably a fine line between someone... Hey, Owen, wake up! Um, I'm here! ...not doing nice things as a way of saving people Scars. or themselves... Need whatever medical supplies you have. ...versus... Oh, put the phone down! Uh, it's okay! Alice, shut up! Alice, put the phone down! Alice! Uh, versus, uh, you know, whether if you upset them, the they would be it's equally okay. as cold with you as well and be willing to just take your life. Abby, who are these kids? You saved my life. Can you take a look at her? Stay out. Poor little Alice. This is Yara. <laughs> what did this? A hammer. It wasn't me. Do, 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 do. Let's lay her down. Isn't that a 90s song? It wasn't me. Can you feel this? Yara. Dun, 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 dun. I was going to clean it and try resetting. The bone's shattered. She has compartment syndrome. What does that mean? It means it has to come off. She's a soldier. You, you can't take her arm. We leave it, it'll turn gangrenous. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just make it stop hurting. Please. What do you need? Ideally, a saw, sutures, clamps, antibiotics. But we're far from ideal right now. We have knives. Fire. Cut and cauterize it. She would die from infection. Make me a list. I'll go to the hospital. I'll get what I need. It will take you all day to get there. I don't mind. It's not about you, Abby. She doesn't have a couple of days. What if I can get you there in two hours? The Wolf Hospital, right? On the west side? Oh. We built bridges. High up. It's how we get around the flooding and... You people. Can't you handle two hours? Probably, yeah. So make a list. Wait, are you serious? These bridges are used by scars. They only send in small groups at a time. You heard that, small groups. This isn't a joke. Love. May she guide you. May she protect you. Abby. Abby.
Hey. What? Did you steal my keys? Sorry. Can I talk to you? Talk? Why are you doing this? She just showed up. Okay. I don't think she knows about last I night. I don't care about last night. Well, I do. Which one? At this rate, I think next week I'm going to be at the point that when I first played through this, it was probably the most difficult part of the game that I found. Your friends are wolves too? Yeah. We were lucky Mel was there. She's one of the best surgeons in Seattle. Mel. Probably one of the few surgeons in Seattle. What's his name? The man? Owen. Oh. Mel. How do we get to the really tall buildings? We're just there. <coughs> Path ahead kicks out toward downtown. The route starts at the edge of the rushing water. You can get us there, and I can take over. <coughs> These bridges are really gonna get us over the rapids? Yeah. All of them? Yes. <coughs> In just a couple hours? I'm not lying. Okay. Wolf, there it is. What happens if we can't get this stuff in ten minutes? Uh, she'll have to try to do the surgery with what Owen has around. It, it's not. That wouldn't be good. Do you right. think she'll. Where am I going? Get the supplies. Through there. Yeah, she'll. Have a good shot. Rip, rip. I could do some more bits and pieces. No blades left in the barber shop. Oh, there is some. Uh, you know our dogs can play cards like that? I'm 13, not 8. You know the size of an 8 year old? Do other people think you're funny? <laughs> no. What's compartment syndrome? If too much pressure builds up in the muscles, the blood can't move in and out of the tissue. Tissue? Kind of the lesson. skin inside your body. How do you know all that? I grew up around doctors. Uh, she'll do the right surgery now. in the aquarium. Play-wise, not emotionally difficult at all. Can't get through there, can't get through there. Wrong. Right, he's over there, so I must have to go that way. Up here. <laughs> no, can I make that? You know, when you're jumping, sometimes you're running start. Yep, I was running. You need help? Oh, we're no. going that way. Okay. Don't say a word. There. One word. Keep going. Oh well, welcome to the channel. So uh, there. Hold on. Thank you. 
Cool. Thank you. Sure. Any more for me? Some more pills. See if we can get to the top of this building. You've been to these sky bridges before, right? Yeah. You think we're gonna see a lot of scars? Seraphites. You gonna be okay if we do? Yesterday. Yeah, but those guys were hunting you. Up we go. Uh, yeah, this game is The Last of Us Part 2. So I played Part 1 and then just carried on onto Part 2. Whoever turns up, I don't care who they are, I don't care if they're wolves or seraphites or whatever the fuck, just save me, please save me. I'll do whatever you want. I'll cut my face, I'll shoot up some Fedra. Shit. Who gives a fuck? I can't die here. I don't want to die here. Please help. Please help. They're going to find me and they're going to rip me apart. What are the bet? The chances that the other side of that door is probably a ripped apart person. Let's get going first. Yeah, watching one first definitely helps to increase emotional investing uh, in this one. Oh, I've still got my big hammer thing. Watch the glass. Yeah, you gain far more emotional investment with the characters if you've watched the f uh, played or watched the first one. But you can just uh, play the second, or watch the second. Do that. And do that. Ah. Well, thank you for watching and following this one. Sometimes I look down and read the uh, writing on the computer and normally I forget to stop walking and then walk the character straight off a wall or something. Looks like I'm jumping that gap. I'm fine. <laughs> right, I know there's going to be something not very nice. We're going to have to do a little zigzagging. Zig and zag. How long have you two been on the run for? Two days. Where were you headed? I don't know. Just... So you're going to tell me the real reason why they're after you now? I did. They want to kill a little boy because he shaved his head. 
a rule. I broke it. Jeez. So why'd you do it? I don't know. Pretty punk rock of you. Punk rock? I get the impression you just don't follow Just wait until we talking to each other mm. first. I guess so. They finished talking now? To the girl next door. We're Sam and James. We live in 302. Didn't know anyone else was still here. We're not scary, we swear, leaving behind a freshly baked treat, Sam. Thanks for the cornbread. My mum told me to give you this bottle of vodka. Hope it's a good kind. Why didn't you guys get on the bus with everyone else? My name's Julia. My mum's name is Heidi. Julia. Where did you find this vodka? This is legit. We stuck around because we heard some horror stories about the temp apartments. People left to police themselves, letting them rob and kill each other. We'd rather take our chances here. Let us know if you or your mum need anything. Sam. Thanks again. I'm going to look for more cornbread mix while I'm out. That was a game changer. Sweet of you guys to offer to help with my mum. I could really use the hand. Gonna go out scavenging now, but back tonight. Just knock, Julia. Scars saw James cooking on the roof. They shot him. I killed two, but one got away. I'm leaving our door unlocked and some supplies in our safe. Combo is our apartment number, then your apartment number. Take everything and get out of here, Sam. I can't leave my mum behind. Gonna barricade our door and hope for the best. Your stuff's still in safe. My aim's shit. If they get in, we're just going to put our hands up. Hmm. I'm sure if you just put your hands up, they'll ignore you. Right, so I think this is, was it 302 or something? Yeah, technically they're not zombies. They are. Um, so there's a form of uh, fungus that infects ants and turns ants into, uh, or makes ants kill themselves. What are the chances of it being 302 and 301 or something? Were we in apartment 302 right now? I don't think it is this. It might be... I need to look at that code again. It might be 302 and... No, nope, wrong button. Yeah, they're 302, so I suspect that the 32 part is right. It might be 303 or 304. It would be easier to actually just go round there. So, yeah, uh, the fungus infects ants and makes them kill themselves. Uh, there's also a fungus that infects um, what was it again? mice and makes them go and uh, get eaten by cats, I think. So what it is is a fungus that infects people and uh, makes them go through various stages of infection. Okay, they're 301. Is it the other way around then? 301, 302? Maybe it's that way around. While I'm here, hold breath. Do that. Right. Um, oh, 
our apartment number than yours. So 302 and 301. I thought that's what I typed in. what I typed in. Oh well, I'm not gonna I'm not that interested in what's in there. Um so yeah so the fungus infects people with spores or through being bitten and then uh, um, uh, yeah it turns into various different types of level of mutation depending on how long you've been infected for obviously without being killed still there. Just making sure he was still with me. Alright, can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way. Excuse me. I assume that that doesn't sound good. Not the best. No. Let's try that again. I thought I was being clever by throwing a bomb in there, but uh, turns out not. Too much tension. There's a demon on the right. Yeah, I do see it. been lucky enough to have got both of you. You okay? Okay, I am lucky enough to have got both of them somehow. I just kept firing. How many serotonin? Why? A lot. I don't know. time.
Yep, we'll make some more explosive, fiery things. Yeah, I did a lot better that time, completely accidentally. My logic was try and see if I can take out the first one pretty quietly. And then once I'm inside, I knew I'd probably have to use a bomb or something on the big guys. Ooh, what's that? Um, but I thought once I'm inside, I've got room to run around and escape, potentially. And that I would just literally keep firing as they approach me. Where are we going? Up there. Down there or down there? Down there seemed more logical and sensible. And then that way. That's lucky. It was narrower there. I shouldn't jump there. Uh, yeah, I have to there grab the bits. Do you know every scar? Stop calling us scars. Sure. There you go. Uh, we'll trade for all those bits. So keep your eyes peeled. We could sure use the extra ammo from her. Right. Um, yeah, I have to get to the hospital, pick up supplies, get them back to the uh, aquarium all within two hours so that um, Mel can do the surgery to chop off I don't think I can do anything can I? Uh, to chop off um, Yara's arm that increases accuracy that'll do Right, are we going up the stairs? Oh, pick that up. He won't be needing it anymore. Lev's probably thinking, God, really tedious travelling around with you. I would have walked there by now and been over this bridge. You keep stopping and picking things up. Can I jump that? <laughs> Nearly fell in. Oh yes, she does have a mask. I've just remembered. Is where we're supposed to be? Yeah. This building will take us. Or at least she ends up with a mask very soon. Whoops. Wrong button. Here, uh, not jumping that gap. Human resources. A 
Okay. And jump. Good for your cousin. Hmm. Okay. Follow me. How much higher are we going? We're gonna be okay. It's a lot, isn't it? Mm. Yes. At least he's blunt and honest. Show off. Yeah, not going to happen. Uh huh. Cool. Let's see what they're working on before the pandemic. Pass along. The elders have agreed to a truce with the wolves. They will stay away from our island and won't engage with any Seraphites passing through their outer territories. To maintain this peace, we must all work together. Our goals remain the same. These are simply different means to achieve them. What gun's this? Yeah, I like the rapid water. Yeah, the chances are uh, Mel probably has very little in terms of stuff she can do the surgery with. Well, at the moment she has nothing. This way. So it will depend what we get her. Can we not find these? Wolves never look up. What does that mean? It means no matter how many people or guns you have, we'll find a way around you. Maybe yeah, you there was no chance it was going to heal. Since they're trying to kill you. Yeah, there's definitely going to be an infection setting in currently. The oh, shit. It's blowing. We can take these people out. You should have stayed away, Lily. Heads. Yeah, that's better condition than what I've got. There's one there. And they're coming through there. Load it. Bad shooting. Sorry. Didn't mean to burn okay. you. Let me help. I got it. I'm trying to be helpful, friendly. Yeah. Do you want to ask me about it? Do you want me to ask you about it? No. Okay. Anything else? <sighs> Nothing hidden in the toilet. Wind. 
these fire shotgun shell things quite handy. Well. Scars built all this? Seraphites. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It's pretty cool. What's cool? Like, impressive. Awesome. Protect them. I wonder if your prophet had any idea what she was starting. She saved dozens of people in ways no one can explain. She blew up trucks and killed some soldiers. Not that hard to explain. Have you read her writings? Skimmed some. You'd benefit from it. Sure. Just swipe everything. I don't to build anything or change anything yet, am I? No. Nope. What are you doing? Nothing. Ignore me. Up we go. I'll go first this time. Seriously, how high up are we going? a new child. That is a great honor. Elizabeth is great. Oh, sorry, you fell. That was lucky. And they're just about to have a new child. That's a shame. Hold on. I'm listening. They're looking for us. Just yep, of course they are. Sneaking up around me. Yeah. Which go? Right in the middle of a fight, let's start searching for things. Right, we're heading up. Oh, hello. Can't shoot through metal though.
what you say. Yes, I feel very exposed. There's too many angles that can come from. There's a nice little bit of um, smoke from the gun that kind of hung around there. I was lucky of him. Just there. Let's just go up. I know I'm probably going to get seen before I even make it up here. Yep. Not at all quiet. You live. Bow would be much quieter. Fucking scars, seraphites, whatever. <laughs> Never heard a seraphite cuss before. This is my first time. <laughs> He's been around us for a very short period of time and he's already starting to swear. Cool, look forward to seeing you on the next stream. Hopefully. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, is this where I have to go? To now. Wait, let me guess. Uh, Up. Yes. See if there's anything that I can pick up. Is that an elevator? Yeah. Okay, pull that door down. I didn't see that. So when you feel afraid, you should think about how your body is getting ready for what's coming. I'm holding it up to try and see it. May I carry my true strength? anti-electricity and all that sinful old world stuff. There are exceptions. Mm. Especially for soldiers. 
That's convenient. Pass along. The truce is over. They ambushed one of our groups. We need to show our strength. Gather a handful of your strongest soldiers and go deep into their territory. Target any wolves you come across. There is no age restriction to this to the message we must deliver. So you like this prophet even though her followers want to kill you in her name? She wouldn't want any of this. Her writings don't have violence in them. You should tell that to your people. We weren't stoning or hanging people until after she died. They're taking her words and twisting them. Read the text. Anything to pick up before I head upwards? Yeah, I was about to say it's windy up here. What the fuck is that? That's the bridge. Lev, follow me. Fuck. We'll go slow. I don't know if I can do this. Across the bridge. How easy. People cross this regularly? Yeah. You're lying. I'm not. I mean, it's not the most popular crew. Oh my god. Just try not to look down. Shit. Careful. Oh, fuck. How are you feeling? I'm waiting on all that true strength. <laughs> Cold. Cool. What? Mm -hmm. Never mind. What's going on between you and your friend Owen? Oh my god, Lev, now? It seemed really awkward. Just go! She's doing a good job of distracting her to try and uh, keep her mind off of the fear. I did it! Come on! Can we take a minute and be impressed by me? Not yet. Why? <laughs> Why? You'll see. Holy shit, Lev! It's gonna be okay. Eyes on me. Shit. Right, let's focus. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Yes, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Didn't do a very good job there. Yes, I'm aware of that. How are you not terrified of this? And don't quote the prophet to me. Heights never scared me. It does. The ocean. Dogs. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Just taking the view. Almost there. Get camera out. You can see the hospital now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Focus on me. I can't do this, Lev. I can't do this. Yes, you can. I can't. You're going to. Come on. True strength. True strength. True strength. Stay steady. Okay, almost there. You can make it. Big gust of wind. Blocking a canal or something. Fuck. Almost there. All right. All right. They do have to get back as well. All in two hours. Come on. I'm dizzy. Shit. 
He's like, right, okay. let's crack on. None of this lying around rubbish. Got a sister to help. Right, I'm pretty yes, sure. You know. What do you mean? I finished talking to each other. This is maybe. Okay, well. Let's see if we can find our own way down. Oh, dive underwater. I haven't done this for a whole year. We got off lucky. Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe it was. Mm. Some wolves believe in God. I've heard them pray. <gasps> no, where's he go? There he is. Well, I don't. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die for me. Then what are you doing here? <laughs> Why did you come back for us? Guilt. Yeah, I haven't. Of what? Yeah, first time I've swam in a year in dirty water. I just needed to lighten the load a bit. A bit of a workout. to collect. There's a safe, but I don't know what the code is at the moment. Here's our way down. Okay. Just keep moving. Right, this will be a good place once I'm through here. To stop Spy. for tonight. More of yours? No. Check out the clothes. Here. Looks dark down there. Oh, I see. Had Seb to Victor. This building. I have to read it. Seb, Victor, and Irina are dead. Avery and Mally are missing. And I'm bit. Well, this went well for them. The nest was bigger than we anticipated. I tried to blow them up, but the fucking detonators were faulty. Uh. Figure, figures that fucking fed rate incompetence is what's going to kill me. Lev, are there infected in this building? We always take elevators down to the bottom, so I don't know. Right. Well, next time we can find out. 
so thank you for uh, joining me here. I will stop here. It's a good place to stop. Next time we continue our journey down here and continue our journey to the hospital. And I suspect next time we'll make our way back uh, from the hospital as well. Um, having encountered the bit that in the past, last time I played it, I found very, very difficult to do. Uh, and it took me literally hours and hours and hours to complete one very tiny section of this game when I played it last. Uh, I've seen another person play it since then. And uh, I think I can probably get through it quicker this time. But yeah, um, it's quite good, obviously, Abby having such an obvious fear of heights and, um, you know, normally that isn't a problem and doesn't manifest, but when you're in a situation like this, it's that fear is thrust upon you. And it's good that Lev is so supportive um, and that they're both having to learn about each other's kind of cultures or you know, backgrounds and what they think of each other. Because obviously everyone thinks that everyone else is somehow bad and evil. Um, so obviously Lev was reluctant to cut Abby down when Abby was left hanging there. Um, and Abby had been of the opinion obviously, uh, all along, of the Seraphites are just these kind of almost savages and, you know, that you just need to kill them because they're some kind of weird cult-like group. Um, so it's interesting, obviously, them having to find out that they're not the image they have of each other. You know, the Seraphites all have names, they all have their own beliefs, you know, belief systems, and uh, there are people following the teachings that clearly just misinterpret all those teachings um, and decide to use violence instead of peace uh, because of their misinterpretation of the teachings. And then you've got, um, obviously, Abby's lot, the wolves, having the opinion of let's just kill them all you know Isaac's mission is still to go to the island and wipe out all of the seraphites so um and then Abby's having to get used to the fact that calling them scars is offensive to them and that's not their name um and to then make an effort to make sure that she says the right thing so yeah so i find the whole thing interesting and interesting that in most games you end up um, essentially being the good guy or the hero or whatever and you don't have any thought to the people you're killing you just work your way through um, kind of shooting your way through hundreds and hundreds of different characters None of them have a name. They're all just generic soldiers that are trying to kill you, so you fight your way through. Um, whereas in this, all the people that Ellie was killing were Abby's friends. Abby potentially was killing um, Lev and Yara's friends. So, yeah, everyone has a, a backstory and people's stories just intersect and people are the heroes of their own story so Abby is kind of the hero of her story and Ellie's the hero of her story if you just played this as Ellie you'd want to get to Abby you're, as a player your mindset would probably largely be kill your way through until you get to Abby kill Abby big boss fight with Abby end of game and you end the game sad that Joel died but satisfied that 
you went through this mission of killing your way to Abbey so that you can kill Abbey, and then it's the end of the game with this big, satisfying, let's head back to Jackson with Dina, all happy that, um, you know, we've killed Abby or whatever. Um, but likewise, if this game started as Abby, say it started as Abby, as, say, there wasn't a Last of Us Part 1, and the game was that something happened that led to your dad get killed. So you did the whole beginning of this section, essentially, but turned it into a game in its own right, and had it that your mission for the game was to hunt down, work out who the killer of your dad was, and then go and get them. And so you then go through this whole chunk of game where you're working out who Joel is, and you then go and find Joel, and then you go and hunt Joel down, and the game your game as Abby ends with you killing Joel, you wouldn't think twice necessarily about all the other um, characters. Uh, the same if you played through it as, say, Lev. Say if you played this game through as Lev, and whether you cut down Abby or not was irrelevant, you just went through and you had to get safe and so you had to kill the zombies and you had to kill um, any of the wolves that you encounter and you have to fight your way to leave Seattle or whatever. Um, again, you'd just be the hero of your game. You wouldn't think twice about it or about any of these other um, people. Yeah, it would be cool to play as Lev. But yeah, you if you turned any one of these parts into a game in its own right... You could have a game that people would play perfectly happily, slaughtering lots of innocent, technically, potentially innocent-ish people uh, who are, in their minds, only defending themselves and their area because you're the intruder or whatever. Um, and yet, by the way they've done this game, which has upset a lot of fans, etc., but the, the way they've done the game kind of makes you realise, you know those people you were killing... They're friends with each other, they've got lives, they've got schools, they've got, um, you know, all this stuff going on. They're just normal people. They're not special in any way. They're not, um, you know, hardened, like, killer soldiers or something like that. They're just normal people who go out on their routines to make sure their little area, their little bubble of this world, is safe from threats. So in the same way that at Jackson, everyone just goes out on patrols and they just make sure their little bubble of the world is safe for them in their bubble. But they're essentially normal people going and doing that. Um, yeah, so everyone is just trying to survive. Um, Yeah, there is that awareness that obviously Abby has killed a lot of people. And, and I had, I potentially could have tried to sneak past or literally sprint and try not to, uh, and try and get away without killing anyone. Um, but, you know, there was the two people talking and one saying about having a child on the way. I know the way they phrased it makes it, made it sound like they were being given a child, like a present or something. But, uh, the reality is, I just shot someone who was about to be a parent, and I knew that about them before shooting them. They weren't just a completely unknown soldier that was trying to kill me, and so I had to kill them. They were someone who I knew a tiny bit of their story. I knew that they were going to be a parent, and that technically, I was killing that unborn child's dad um, at that moment in time and that there would be a mum who uh, will hear about that and hear that they've had their husband killed who will end up distraught at the fact their husband died or I imagine they'd end up distraught and obviously I am the cause of that potentially um, <laughs> I did have to be quite quick though I'd heard as much as, you know, that they were going to be a parent or whatever, and I saw that they are about to walk out of shot. And 
there was two of them and I knew that as soon as I hit one, the other one will scream out and alert people to the fact that I'm there. So I had to get the gun onto the other one and take them both out as quick as I could. And I was incredibly lucky at that because I thought I would miss the second person because obviously the second I fired once and they watched their friend drop down dead, the second person is going to react by trying to get out the way. And so I was just very lucky that I got the gun on them incredibly quickly. Um, but yeah, but it would have been good to have let them finish the sentence or find out what more they might say. Um, but the reality is I still technically have killed someone's husband and dad and uh, that's just what you're doing in this world and normally you don't really give that any thought um, um, it's a mix of things one I'm playing on easy which actually has a positive and a negative so the positive of playing on easy is that I can get shot a little bit more and injured a little bit more without dying the negative is that, uh, as you've probably noticed, it auto-locks on to characters if I point the gun at a character. But it doesn't auto-lock on, for example, onto their head, which is where I want to shoot them. It auto-locks on kind of to their body to give you the best chance of getting a shot off. But I don't want to shoot at their body. I want to shoot at their head. But the gun is auto-locked to their body. So as soon as I let go of the trigger slightly, if I'm moving the trigger to aim it at the head, as soon as I let go of the trigger just very slightly, it automatically locks back to their body if I'm pointing the gun at that person's body, uh, at that person. Um, and so that means that, obviously, if I'm in a hurry, so if I'm in a, like, it's a life or death situation, then, um, obviously, it's better that I get, like, three or four rounds in a chest and keep moving and then hopefully kill them and keep moving um, but if I'm trying to be quiet or sneaky in some way then it backfires so in an emergency having the gun doing the auto lock on as long as I'm aiming it toward if I'm not aiming it towards a cat character it doesn't lock on but if you're aiming it towards a character then it locks on to the character who's near the center of the aiming um, which is fine if it's like, say, I've got people charging me, like zombies are the ones that normally would do it. So you've got zombies charging you, and you can quickly press the button to get the uh, the lock-on out, and, you know, the sort of targeting bit out. And as a worst case, if they're literally ch targeted, uh, charging at you, you can just press the button and fire lots of shots off, which is wasting your ammo. But if you know you're probably going to die if they reach you, you can then get those shots off, um, and hopefully take them out. Whereas if you're trying to be stealthy, then it's a problem because the lock-on locks onto the chest and you're then trying to constantly fight the lock to aim it at the head. So I could probably, I think, there's settings for having it so it's on like easy, but you can then turn things on and off. Um, three types of infected... There's more than that. There's I can't think of them all, but there's um, the kind of normal zombie-ish ones that look human and are barely infected. Um, well, I say barely infected, but they're very relatively newly infected. Um, so they look relatively human and they groan and they sound like humans in pain. There is the... Um, uh, Shan no, I'll get to them in a minute. It's working my way up. There's the um, the sneaky ones. I can't remember their names now. The stalkers. Uh, there is so they go around quietly. They've got some intelligence. They try and hunt you down, and try and stalk you. There is the oh, so the runners are the first ones. The stalkers. There's another kind of infected that's like the stalkers, but it's a relatively normal kind of infected one that's not particularly difficult to fight um, there's the bloaters obviously there's the shamblers which are like bloaters but bigger and they can throw 
things off them more, I think. No, they explode. That's the one. Something like that. Uh, there's the clickers. Um, there's one more that I'm going to encounter later. Um, there's, yeah, there's a few uh, different ones, depending on how long someone has been infected and survived, essentially, for... Um, but yeah, it's uh, yep. Goodbye. Uh, I'm going now as well. So uh, yeah, so so there is quite a few of them. Um, but anyway, I look forward to. I think a sleep meditation probably went live tonight as well. Um, if I'm remembering correct, it might have been tonight or tomorrow night or something. Um, yep, yeah, you know the one I'm talking about that I'm going to encounter later. Um, next week. Uh, so yeah, so good night everyone. Thank you for joining me here and uh, I will be back here doing this same time next week and hopefully you can all get a good night's sleep. So uh, I will see you later.